Hey there guys and welcome back to Age of Empires 2. This is going to be the El Cid campaign and the fifth scenario, which is the King of Valencia. The Cid was in exile again, and this time there were no moors to welcome him in. He wandered the bleak rocks of Castile and wondered if his tale was finally at an end. And yet, a remarkable thing happened. Many mercenaries and knights knew of the tales of the Cid and were eager to follow him, even without a castle. As the Cid wandered further south, more men, Christian and Muslim, joined his army. Eventually, the Cid had a large enough force to carve out a fiefdom of his own. King Alfonso had set his sights on beautiful Valencia, the jewel of the Moorish coast, but the Cid was closer and could get there sooner. If he conquered Valencia, the Cid would have protection not only from the machinations of Alfonso, but also a bulwark against the inevitable second invasion of Yusuf and the Berbers. Events would have unfolded simply then, had not our old enemy, Count Berenger of Barcelona, picked that moment to strike back at the Cid. And by the way, this scenario is difficult. I'm actually just going to go along and uh, start it out immediately and show you what you have to do as we go along. Well, you don't have to do it my way, but you know. It is the one they call the seat. If we bring this head, Count Berenger will be most pleased. So, yeah, we, oh, we got a scout immediately. All right. We're not going to bother with him. But, uh, yeah, just deal with these long swordsmen right now. Alright, so you're going to lose some of your holdings in this scenario, but basically you go into Denia here at this you beginning. Welcome here, my Cid. We will follow your commands if you can help defend us from Count Berenger. Alright, so I, I usually go and just put these uh, villagers up here, and basically I send everyone down here. And there is a reason for that, because this city is pretty much just going to get overrun here at the beginning. I would also suggest creating some monks while you can. It m I might not actually be able to create them uh, quickly enough. I don't know. Well, maybe. But basically, this this gate here is locked until uh, Berenger actually triggers uh, it. But I would leave these villagers up here. Um, you could bring them with you, but uh, there's actually very little forests on this map, and the area you start in actually never gets find, uh, found by uh, Beringer, so you might actually want to go do that, is uh, basically go and stick them up there. Eventually you get gifted some uh, lumber, eventually later on, so you can just uh, chill here for now. But they're not doing anything anyway, I don't, th no, I don't know. Beringer's gonna come out. Beringer is attacking! Yeah. Ours is but a peaceful village. We cannot defend ourselves. We should flee south across the river. Alright, so I am going to do one thing, and that is... Alright. There we go. Alright, get this monk out of the way. Uh, basically, I'm going to go past this gate here. And... It's the seat! Yeah. Finally, we have found a lord worthy of our service. Alright, so there is some stone you can find here. Unfortunately, there's also pikemen and such as well, which is a bit unfortunate, so let's bring these guys through. There is a monastery up here, as I recall, over on this hill, which you can go. We have heard of the Cid's piety, and would humbly join his service. Alright, so Berenger's going to steamroll in here and basically destroy Denia, more or less. A thing you can do is actually convert some of these guys, and it looks like they, they're not interested right now, but as soon as I do that, they'll go and fight a bit, and then, yeah, can try and convert this guy, I guess. Alright, so th they are going to steamroll in, and we are going to go and get out this gate here, we got an archer, that's fine. But uh, you're going to have a, tar a hard time here. Uh, you can go east to Valencia, which is going to be your main base later on. But basically, what I would, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait around here. There is a reason for this, of course. It's the fact that uh, 
Berenger has so much siege weapons and if you wait uh, for a while I believe you can actually go and take out um, their siege weapons if you... Um, I think their knights eventually leave and then you can kind of just run in and take them out. Or at least you would hope that. They also attack their own uh, knights with their, their... Are they just mangonels? Yeah, they're just mangonels. They actually will atta attack their own knights which uh, can kill them, which is quite amusing, but, uh, you know. I don't think he will actually do his major attacks until you get to Valencia at the same time, so keep that in mind as well. Just hide these guys in the corner. They'll, I don't think they ever go up there, so, you know, that's probably preferable. They're gonna destroy pretty much everything here. I, there's, I don't think there's, like, any way of um, stopping them. You can pick up a few other units, but really it's not going to help you that much. So I'm just going to stick uh, over here for now. I'm going to wait until uh, we can uh, try and get rid of some of these knights. There they go. Yeah, they, they just like attacking their own, <laughs> own knights, really. Which is quite amusing. It's not like I'm really facing anything up here right now, so yeah. Alright, so one thing, right, so the guys we're going to need, I'm also going to bring the missionaries. Missionaries are okay, but they are a little bit slow. Alright, so we're going to see what we can do. Alright, we're going to bring the missionaries up. Right, it's go time. Okay. Alright, so the knights are on that. I'm going to put El Cid on there. And the knights are getting pretty badly hurt. Oh dear. That is not good. Alright, so you've noticed the knights have kind of... There's, there's really no more of the enemy's knights as of right now. Alright, so we just need that one done, dealt with. Alright, so so they're trying to attack us with rams right now, which is quite amusing. But uh, we are getting attacked up here. Unfortunately, you're going to have to deal with that. So I'm just going to heal this knight here, keep him going. And we're going to take out basically all their siege weapons right here. I don't know if that helps that much, but I believe it does help you against a future assault. So that is quite useful to do that. We're going to just uh, make sure we don't get hit there. And we're going to just take out all these rams. They go down very quickly. Uh, I don't think I'm getting hit, really. Alright, so after this, we're, we're actually going to go and sort of disperse a bit and uh, go to Valencia. Alright, so we'll get that dealt with. I won't get over here. Alright, so I don't think they know where I am right now. Still. So we are going to go and run away. Unfortunately, we can't really save Denia. Uh, we did save the university, which means I might save some uh, lumber, but it's not big. I'm going to try and convert the scout cavalry. I know it's not that great, but it's all I really have right now. I'm going to have to rebuild the monastery, obviously, unfortunately. But it was probably going to go down anyway, so yeah. Alright, so Elsid is going to go over there. See if I can get the scout cavalry. Probably not. Oh no, I did. Okay. Let's get you down there. Scout cavalry, I think. Yeah, never mind. Alright, so I'm going down here with some monks. Oh dear. Alright. Well, hopefully they don't do anything. Seed will lead us to victory against Count Baron It is El Cid, Pompeiado. We will throw down our nets and follow him to Valencia. Alright, so now should be the time that I go to Valencia. I believe this is all the units you can get, so let's go. Welcome, El Cid, to Valencia. We have suffered much in this war, but those days are past. We know that you will restore the city to its former glory. El Cid, Campeador! We claim Valencia in the name of King Alfonso. Turn back at once. 
Where am I getting hat? All right. So there we go. Right, we gotta build. We gotta defend Valencia's wonder, pretty much. That is pretty much what we've got to do. Now we get the vo the villagers out right now. Where are we getting hit? Okay, it's just an archer. Just an archer. All right. So do we have stables? Yes, we have two stables. Okay. So I want to get everyone in here, not there. Come on. I get two more of these villagers. All right. So I'm going to start putting these villagers on food. And basically, they're going to take out the rest of this and then you'll get uh, the lumber, I believe, as a bonus. I believe you don't get it until after Denia is destroyed. Alright, so I accidentally hit the other sheep there, but whatever. Alright, so you can get cavaliers, which is a good idea, is to get missionaries. Lumber is hard to come by in these parts. We will try to give you what we can. Alright, so they give you that and then go build a lumber camp over there. Uh, I'm gonna get two... Right, I'm gonna start getting villagers out here. That is actually seven on the sheep there, so that's good. Also, get, build some fishing ships immediately, because they are very useful in this scenario, because basically Behringer has no... Uh, he doesn't really have that much of a... Um, I don't think he has a navy at all, actually, so you can basically fish whatever you want out the sea. And this is the wonder we're gonna have to defend, unfortunately. Because it's a pain in the ass to defend. These villagers should never get attacked, ever. I'm, I'm serious, like, I don't think they ever get attacked. So, keep that in mind. Alright, so we are just gonna start getting some stone. Obviously stone is important on this scenario, it's very important. That's a scout cavalry. Uh, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see that far, but uh, you know that's just how it's going to be. Don't, you know, you do get a market right away. Okay. Uh, right. So fishing ships important in this scenario. So get them out as quickly as possible. Get on that. All right, there we go. All right. So yeah, I'm just getting these sheep out as I'm trying to get as many villagers as possible. Really, uh, they do have some pikemen and such. Alright, so the problem in this scenario is they will send bombard cannons and just basically everything against you is just terrible. Uh, you just gotta be on the lookout for cavaliers really uh, to convert. And I'll also get these monks out. I think they got slightly less range. Yeah, they do. They got seven range. Alright, so we're gonna go and convert this, uh, this archer here because there's nothing else here. We'll also convert this other archer. Alright, so actually I'll take the champion. I don't think you have illumination or, or is it theocracy? Yeah, it's theocracy. Alright, so what I would do is kind of put these guys on no attack stance, kind of just chilling in here. This archer can go die, it doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, that's basically what you need to start doing is uh, making sure you get the um, guys into the town centre or whatever. Town centre, your town. And just look for anyone that can really uh, actually do damage and then try and convert them. It's a good idea. Obviously you're going to have to build a, a probably a university soon enough. But we also need a castle. Yes we do. Alright, we're going to go for gold now. I'm going to build a castle. going to put this... Um, I need more than one villager on this. I need this castle up as quickly as I can. Uh, so we're basically going to put the castle up here. Which means I need to move these guys off. Alright. You get off. Alright, so... Got villagers everywhere. Alright, so more fishing ships. Honestly, I'll take a couple more. Uh, we can also get both, so. And ballistics eventually. Although my university is probably going down soon enough. Well, it'll take forever for those guys to kill it. Nah, I might be able to get him. Alright, so converting is really the, the best thing you can do here. I would lock the gates to make sure that you're not really doing that. Uh, you're not really getting too much on, on your back. 
but the thing is, you're gonna need some, um, you're gonna need knights. So I'm gonna get some knights out. So I'm, g I'm gonna leave ballistics for now because we really, really need uh, some guys that can take out siege weapons and knights are pretty good. So yeah, I, I really don't have that much resources, great. Uh, okay, I was just checking there. I want to be okay if they just keep uh, attacking right there. That's fine with me, honestly. Right, so I'll get these two onto gold after this. Alright, so let's see. Anything out there? I do not think so. Alright. Just keep getting the villagers out. Get some knights out. Uh, you can convert their cavaliers once they do, do actually decide to attack you. But uh, obviously I didn't get Bodkin Arrow either. I'm a little tight on the resources right now. Right, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get ballistics, and then I'm gonna get a Bodkin Arrow, and then I'll just pump out the knights as much as I can. All right, so Bodkin Arrow. No, I'll do Bodkin Arrow first. All right, so Bodkin Arrow goes out. Oh yeah, I don't actually have to pay any gold for uh, blacksmith upgrades, that's really useful actually. Alright, so we take this cavalier if we can. Just make sure that you don't actually <laughs> kill them. Uh, I probably would lock the other gate and keep this one open or something. Something like that. Right, that is another... Uh, that is another cavalier right there. Let's try and get this guy. And... Unfortunately, I cannot get him right now. Get him in. I think he's going to be uh, killed, unfortunately. We'll try. Oh, we'll try. Yeah, he's dead. Right, okay. Uh, no, we need you over here. Right, uh, ballistics, ballistics. Uh, that's going to take forever, so let's get ballistics there. And then get knights. Right. You don't need that many knights, but it does help. Let's try and get this champion if we can. He would be dead if I actually had ballistics. Alright, so it's extremely important that you get some... Uh, some um, guys out extremely quickly, just like... Because you're going to have so much trouble if you do not. So let's get the upgrade. Uh, I'm not too bothered with this champion. Really, the Cavaliers are what you should uh, be focusing on. The champions are not that important, comparatively. Okay, so what else we got here? Handcart, yeah, yeah. Right, just keep an eye on the health of the Wonder. That's going to be what you need to look on. The entire scenario is basically just defending this Wonder. So, yeah, make sure that you keep an eye on that. Alright, so unfortunately I cannot get that Cavalier. If they die, it's not too big a deal, but uh, you would prefer to really have those uh, those bonuses if you can. Alright, so I'm going to get two more on the fishing ships. Get you there, alright. Alright, we're going to build some stuff with those guys once we do. And I was going to get Husbandry there. Alright, so... Ugh, God damn it. Alright, I might be able to get this guy. Yes, alright. So get him in here here. Alright. Just make sure that you, you're you're getting these cavaliers and such because you're gonna need them. You're gonna need everyone. Alright. I'm gonna get that eventually. I built a transport for some reason. Alright. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so we're gonna get not that. Oh I didn't click it, okay. Right, so now it's time for some farms, I believe. Which means I probably need a mill. Build that there. We're gonna build farms for everyone, pretty much. And I'm uh, there, no, I have enough. All right. So yeah, you'll you'll see how useful having these guys in the corner is because you you basically can get lumber. You can get quite a lot of lumber for not that much. And obviously, we should be building a second castle right about now. Uh, I'm gonna say build it. Mm, there's trees in the way. No, 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 no. Damn it. Alright, so... Well, first of all, deposit what you have, guys. Alright, so let's get that going. Get heavy plow when we can. 
I'm gonna need a... Well, I'm gonna need another university. But that's not what I need right now. Alright, so I'm gonna get two villagers chopping wood around this area. I'm gonna get... This is what we're gonna do, is get a castle right here. Alright, so we'll just get that guy right there. Alright, so get that castle there. Uh, heal up whoever that was. And uh, what was I doing? Alright, so th this castle's pretty much going down. Actually, fortified walls we don't actually need. We'll get murder holes instead before this university goes down. Usually I get attacked a lot more than I am right now, so that is quite interesting. I think they've kind of... Uh, maybe they've been pacified a little more. I don't know why I built transports. Alright, so that's fine. Get this castle up. I'm going to send this archer out to scout for as long as he lives, which is probably not very long. Alright, so get these guys in. And this stone is pretty much... Uh, I'm going to need more castles. Alright, there's actually a bridge over here to Beringer, I believe. But there is towers. Now, one thing you can do is actually... Um, get a trebuchet or such in the imp oh, bombard cannon or bombard tower I should say if you if you're kind of seeing that you don't really have too much opposition right now what you can try is to um, gather these guys up and then try building a castle outside it is pretty dangerous but uh, it seems like they have been a lot less aggressive than what they were last time at least for me like Jesus so let's get our villagers out and building a castle here, if we can. Uh, there we go. Alright, so that is a terrible idea. That is in range. So let's try a bit further back there. Uh, unfortunately they have paladins now and we can't really get to them too easily. So there is that. Alright, so let's get the paladin in here. Uh, heal those guys up. I could go to the Imperial Age pretty soon. Alright, so you can build a monastery to begin with, because I don't have one. Alright, so they are bringing some troops in, which probably means that the uh, quite a lot of troops are coming in right about now. Got some paladins and such coming in, which is not good for me right here, because I am trying to construct a castle. And fortunately, no siege weapons right now. I, see, I said fortunately, not unfortunately. <laughs> I guess. Alright, so that guy's running away, that's fine. Right, we're gonna get these villagers out here. Alright, so I got three castles up. Uh, they are sending some troops at me right now, so obviously I am under a bit of threat right now. We are gonna go to the Imperial Age, and I am going to build a university right there. Okay. These guys still okay over here. Alright, so let's. Uh, I guess I missed that. Alright. Alright, so I'm thinking that this is actually going pretty well. Uh, usually I get hit pretty hard by uh, whoever. <laughs> Beringer brings a bunch of bombard cannons, but it seems by attacking that starting force, it kind of slowed things down. They even left this alone. Wow. So it looks like if you manage to defend Denia to a degree, it actually they become a lot less aggressive later on, which is uh, news to me, actually. Alright, so the, <laughs> these guys are finished with the stone there. Um, I, I don't really care about that right now. Right, so all I really care about is getting extra resources out, so let's go and get on our farm up here. I don't think... Did I even get heavy plow? No, I did not. Alright, so there is a paladin over there. Champion. Oh, there we go. Let's try and convert. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, just got him. Jesus. Alright. Let's bring them in a bit. Alright, so battering rams. Obviously, gonna need some, uh, some 
put some troops out there for that. Got some bombard cannons, got some trebuchets. Yeah, here come the big boys. Right. So this is this is kind of when you need to be surgical because there are bombard towers here as well, which are very annoying. But uh, as long as you make sure that you are God damn it. You are taking it out as much as you can here. Kind of kind of run around a bit. The bombard cannons are probably your biggest annoyance right now as uh, the bombard cannons. So let's get some more knights out a lot more. They also have monks, which is very annoying as well. And it looks like pretty much all of these guys are going to die. <laughs> which is not that surprising, because this, this, as soon as Beringer really attacks, he will really annoy the hell out of you. Here is his base up here, by the way. Uh, just really try and take out as much as you can, and then retreat a bit. So that that is a... Um, that is that is a castle that has went down, so we'll go and get more stone. All right, so right now we are kind of looking at some uh, bombard cannons coming in and such, but I did deal quite a bit of a blow there, so it shouldn't be that bad right now. Uh, we're gonna get cavaliers as soon as we can. Uh, we need more fish here, guys. That's why my food has been pretty bad right now. There is more fish in this river. Yes, there we go. Alright, so that is some more farms going. I'm going to get heavy plow and I'm going to get... Uh, mm. Um, shit. Alright. I don't know why that villager took so long to get out, but apparently he is. Alright, so let's get this guy back in here. Alright, so looks like they have backed off for a little bit, which is good. This wonder is coming up pretty quickly, actually. I think eventually there is one villager that... Uh, goes off of it, which is really annoying, because you got to defend for longer. Alright, so Cavalier... Oh, fuck. Alright, there we go. There's the trebuchets. Ah, oh, Jesus. I locked the other gate, which is bad. Alright, so, oh my god, forms. Yeah, this is why this scenario can be very, very annoying. It's because of all these, uh, stuff, all this stuff happening to you at the same time. You can kind of maneuver around stuff, but it is a pain in the ass. Alright, so let's deal with that. These camels should actually be able to take out uh, these guys over here. Now, I should be able to get Bracer, I believe. Ow. Okay. Alright, so all these farms are done. So let's get that. Uh, right, so... Bracer, yeah, Bracer. I uh, need 300 food, okay. Alright. So I am repairing stuff here. Yeah, your castles are going to be pretty... They're going to be attacked a lot. Valencia is east. Thanks for that. Alright, I'm just waiting for Bracer right now. Thankfully I do have all these knights now. So let's bring them over. Alright, so... Try to get past here and get that cavalier if I can. Or paladin. There's paladin now. Yes, I do have cavaliers now as well. Yep. Alright. So let's get bracer. And let's get the upgrades for uh, cavaliers after that, I guess. Okay, is there anything specifically I want? No, I can. I'm not going for that. Alright. Wardings is very useful if you get enough resources. It's kind of difficult though. <laughs> Alright, so that is that gold done. Uh, is there any more gold? There's gold over here, but I don't know if you'll be able to get it. So I would just kind of focus on sending some of these guys to go and help repair. And uh, the rest of them to go chop down trees or something. Uh, yeah, let's get these guys on tree these trees for now and get the other guys repairing. Alright, that should be okay there, and we can get the armor for our Cavaliers. I really doubt I'm gonna get Paladins by the end of this, but yeah, you never know. Conscription might be useful. 33%, that's so good for 150 food and 150 gold, like, Jesus. Conscription is a great thing. I don't think I'll be getting this guy. I was a bit slow there. 
Oh, maybe. Paladins are really beefy, man. Wow, I actually did get him. Uh, right, so let's try... Oh, I don't think that guy's going to get it, so let's try the other guy. There we go. So we can get Theocracy, I believe. It's 200 gold, so let's just get that. And what else was I doing? Right, so I'm going to get Blast Furnace. 275. Alright. Well, as long as we keep getting food. I forgot about you. <laughs> Handcart, okay. Alright, so let's get this Paladin out to deal with him. What was I doing? Um, shit. Right, Blast Furnace, yeah. Alright, so we'll take out this, uh, it's just a battering ram, it's not actually a siege ram. Though, he might actually get siege rams later on, I'm not entirely sure. Let's get repairing this again, and we can basically garrison up once you're done. And I think on hard, one of these villagers eventually stops building, but I'm just playing moderate, so... Looks like you don't need to defend for that long. If you really want, you can get a couple of trebuchets, and I'll actually try and do this, and try to get those rid of those bombard towers because those are really annoying those are really the biggest annoyance when you're trying to des destroy stuff over there and they're fucking annoying you uh, you know that's that's really annoying so make sure that you uh, keep that in mind you can get architecture as well you might want to all right so paladins are way too much food so I'm not I'm not gonna get that I don't I don't really care but, uh, yeah. Alright. So, these guys can start... I don't know. Maybe I can try and send them up here. Maybe. I'll try send some of them up there. And the rest of them could just stick there. Alright, so, yep, go and get this. You might want to rebuild docks. Did I leave the knight out here? What the hell? Yeah, that's not entirely good, is it? Yeah. They're probably going to die. Okay. Well, if I can bring them back in. Right, there we go. Okay, never mind that then. Jesus. Okay, so we got more paladins. That's fine. I can deal with that. Alright, so now we have a battering ram there. Still have these camels, surprisingly. Alright, so, ungarrison, alright, get a conscription, ungarrison, get these guys up. Alright, so, trying to get this uh, paladin over here. Alright, so, let me see if I can actually go and get, um, nope, no, no, no. Okay, there we go. There is the trebuchets coming in, uh, we're gonna have to get these guys out and start repairing. I'm gonna try and get, uh, take these trebuchets out as quickly as possible obviously and then uh, get the fuck out and then try and basically keep my uh, stuff together over here basically I'm trying to take out those bombard towers now that is an onager which is bad but if he fires over me that would be cool Alright, so I believe that's it for those guys. Alright, so... Right, they, I believe they have murder holes, so that's not a good idea. And... We're gonna try... Converting one of these guys. Alright, so that is them. Okay. How's this? Oh, the wonder's almost done! Alright, so that looks like it's pretty much all that you had to do. Uh, I I tried this before and it was really hard if you don't stay behind and take out those forces because they pretty much attack you right after. Alright, those guys are going to die, look at them. But uh, that should be it, so there you go. How abundant the orange groves and olive trees seemed to the conquerors who had come from bleak Castile. Valencia was a tropical paradise, complete with palm trees, silk market, and abundant fish and waterfowl. 
After the Cid had secured the castle and saw to the defenses of the city, he sent for me and the children. Our reunion took place on the highest tower of the castle, before a sea that consumed the entire horizon. We turned Valencia into our own kingdom, uniting 8,000 Christian and 20,000 Moorish soldiers. It was the greatest of the Cid's accomplishments to date. We were far away from the reach of King Alfonso, and Count Berenger himself was safely locked in Valencia's dungeons. In time, he would be ransomed, and one of our daughters married to his nephew and heir to ward against future conflicts. If only the tale of the Cid had ended there beneath the Valencian sunsets, but it was not to be. Valencia lay right in the path of the advancing horde of frenzied Yusuf and his Berber hordes. All right, so that was that scenario. It was it was honestly pretty difficult, but it's fairly short. Um, it only took me 49 minutes. Uh, you probably could get shorter if you rushed to Valencia, but I don't think that's a very good idea. So make sure that you are converting stuff that is important. Uh, Cavaliers, get them out. And basically, if you can get the Bombard Towers out of the way, I don't think they. I, I think they start with murder holes, so that's not going to be great. Uh, you can try and attack them and come off them, but it's going to be pretty risky just to let you know. But that is it for that scenario, and the sixth scenario is called Reconquesta, I believe. And we're going to be doing that next.